Okay, today we're going to pull a toilet and reset it. The homeowner has noticed water leaking out of this area along the floor and that generally indicates that the wax seal under the toilet has gone bad. First thing we do is turn the water off. Get all the water out of the tank. It's about 20 degrees outside so the wax is cold because it's been on my truck all night, all week, all month. So I bring it in and set it in some warm water to thaw out while I'm taking it. I found the easiest way to get the rest of the water out of the tank and out of the bowl is with a shop vac. If you don't have a shop vac you can use a towel or sponges or dip it out but that way you don't have water leaking all over when you lift the toilet and move it around. Disconnect the water line. I don't know if you can see that, but there's just a nut that holds that supply tube onto the water line. I like to use a putty knife to pop these cups off. These are larger nuts, they're half inch generally, they're 7 sixteenths. I like to use a nut driver. You can use a crescent wrench or a socket wrench or an end wrench or whatever you have. Take your putty knife and get rid of all the old wax. Now if you look at the directions on these boxes, they say to put the wax on the toilet. I don't know any plumber that puts the wax on the toilet bowl. I'm sure there are some somewhere. But everybody that I know puts the wax on the flange and then sets the bowl on. I usually use the new bolts because usually whoever did it before used steel closet bolts which I don't like. These are solid copper and they've got the heavier nuts so I'm going to go ahead and reuse that and save those for another. Now the secret to getting the toilet on there without messing up the wax is you put your elbows on your knee while you're holding the toilet. That way you're not holding the weight of the toilet on your back. And you just lift it up and it's the weight of the toilet sitting on your knees and you just walk forward. If you got a bright light down there you can see that bolt really well. Get that one on, line that one up. When they line up, just push it straight down. If your wax is soft and warm, it'll go right down like it's supposed to. And put the uh, cup retainer, the washer, the nut on. And you don't want to tighten it all but once on each side. Just snug each side a little at a time so that it pulls it down straight. Wipe up any water and wax and they just snap on. If this was a flexible supply line, I'd go ahead and replace it and I never reuse the flexes. The nice chrome plated ones, I will. I very seldom have a problem with them leaking. If they do, I've got new gaskets I can put in there as well.